everybody. Welcome to the next episode of The Game. We all know what the game is, right? You're trying to escape the Matrix, or you're trying to just glitch the system just enough for it to work out for you. Our little uh, spoiler to last time when we first started for the new players in this game was the Ace of Pentacles, so we're starting with that as well. Um, remember, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. But all in all, well, let's see what we're doing in this little game we're doing today. Will it be outbested or will we be outshined? Mm, Alright. First card, the energy guiding you right now. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What in what influences this energy? Death card, Scorpio, possibly. It's reversed, so something isn't changing or someone is not changing their ways. One of the two. What is it that the NPCs around you see? The non-playable characters, those who are here to interfere with whatever it is the fuck we're doing. Um, Seven of Cups reverse. They might notice that um, you're looking for a separate option outside of the options that have already been around you. What's their aggro trigger? What are they going to do if they get aggroed? Or what will cause them to start coming after you in an aggressive manner? The lover. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I think that's fine like that. Okay. The lover's reverse. Not coming together with your person, it seems like, right? We're not coming together. We're not taking any of the options, you know, like you're not taking the red pill or the blue pill, because they're both the fucking pills. You know, why are you taking why are you taking anything to begin with? Like what's the point? Like I've never understood that about that fucking series in the movies, you know? Like what, what the fuck was the point of taking the red pill or the blue pill? Either way, like he was already woken up, so what does it matter if he made a choice? He should have made no choice. That was still a fucking choice. Like what are they gonna do? Kill him? He get wrong from them too. How was he supposed to know that he could trust these motherfuckers in the first place and they're not working just on the other side but with the same fucking agenda? Ooh, you know, but that's just me. Like, you know, I don't trust anybody who tries to give me choices or options or ultimatums. Like, why are you giving me this shit for? I don't owe you a damn explanation for anything. Well, that's what it feels like. It feels like you aren't making the choices that the uh, NPCs expect you to do. Right? Cheat codes, walkthroughs that you can use, things that you can find on the way, being a journeyman with the of Wands right here. Let's see. What is ah, up next? Is hidden levels, bonuses, influences that might come to help you out. Not communicated or not reaching out with the star Aquarius's card. A lot of air right in here. Right? Hidden levels, bonuses, or influences that you might not know about, right? Hidden treasures and enemies. We got the Ten of Wands right here. There might be a burden that might get used against you by your enemies. But what? Because you aren't coming to any sort of choice with them, so the best walkthrough with that is to move with the Princess of Wands. And the bonus you can use right here is keeping silent. That would be the most decisive action for you with this level, right? Right. The final boss and their weakness. Three of swords. Someone's in your feelings about you. Or someone's trying to give the illusion that they are in their feelings about you, right? Spoils. Item drops. Rewards. Things you might find along the way. Queen of Wands reverse. Someone being extremely impatient with how things are going. Wants what she wants and she wants now. Am I going to berserker mode? Hmm. That might not be the best reward. That's like having the poison mushroom in Mario, man. Okay. 
Let's move these two over a little bit for the tenth one. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm going to bring these two. Yeah, there we go. Now there's plenty of room. I don't think anybody will be uh, overshadowed, if you will. Ah! Sleeve. Son of a bitch. Anyway. The next level spoilers, right? What's going to happen with the next level? Or at least the next chapter. The alien. Reverse. Coming out of that isolated state to explore. Players, you might feel like you're in a cave of some sorts, right? Very interesting. So let's see. You are trying to take some decisive action in where you're going to, players. We're just going to see where it's taking y'all, if you will. Right? Right. Let's see. You're being very decisive in what's going to um, aggro these NPCs that might be trying to come against you. Like, everybody's looking at you to make options or make a choice when it comes to this lover's reverse. But your best options is what you're deducing right now is to remain silent. Right? They notice that you're trying to take um, a different approach to things. And the way you kind of like find a way through it is to guide yourself out of a, some scenario dealing with the three of Swords right here. You just gotta watch out because, like, there's an item that's gonna cause you to go berserk or some sort of hidden reward. You're gonna have to figure out how to handle your own temper, I feel like. Because things aren't changing, you know. You're trying to find the treasure that'll get you out of this burden. So you can move on to the next level where you come out of the isolation period. This Queen of Wands, right? She's tired of feeling tortured. With the Ten of Wands reverse, she wants to get out of this misery. And she wants to get out of this bad head space, feeling crucified. Once again, tormented, tortured, crucified. Misery. This person is miserable and they want out of this. They know this shit. That's what's influencing, that's the energy guiding them. They want, like, peace of mind. Uh, what influences this energy? Things are not changing or someone is not changing their way, my dear players. Um, they're looking for some justice. And I don't think that they're finding it in this situation. So they went Queen of Swords with it. Okay. So since they were looking for justice, they became the Queen of Swords, elusive, mystical, using that brain power to figure things out. Now what the NPCs notice around you, the non-playable characters, the people that talk to you um, in short, small talks, the people who give you certain quests to achieve, sometimes characters that play a bigger role but really have very minimal significance in your life. They're all looking at you because you are looking at a different option and taking those choices that have been placed in front of you because they are not satisfactory, right? Uh, they aren't giving you any sort of, like, restoration or healing. You can't rejuvenate. You can't recover the way you want to. And I feel like it's hindering your intuition a little bit. Like, you're trying to figure yourself out. You might also be keeping your mouth shut with the High Priestess Reverse as well. You're not letting people know what's actually going on, and you feel like the situation cannot be recovered as is, my dear players. We got the lovers down here. I feel like this is more about choice and actual relationship with one person. Or maybe it's how you deal with your relationship with other people. You're not taking the way that the NPCs want, and that's what's aggroing the fuck out of them and getting their attention to you. What are you going to do with that, I wonder? The stamina and potency is reversed. I feel like they'll notice the door is closed and feel like their influence is weakening on you. Because you're not falling for their traps. Once again, you're staying silent. They're trying to get your attention somehow. They might even try to bring this choice up to you or dictate this choice to you. Influence you to go for what it is there that they want you to go for. Okay, cheat codes and walkthroughs. You're being told to just keep on stepping, right? Uh, there's a tower 
about to happen. Possibly with a Cancer or just somebody who's emanating great energy. Or this could be you, player, who is emanating that you're not just an avatar, right? You're trying to get out of all of this craziness that's got you in concern, that's got you in calamity and such. Uh, because somebody knows the ropes. They're not a naive person when it comes to this King of Cups right here. Once again, could be Cancer, also Pisces or Scorpio. Someone's using their dark side a little bit too strongly. Your walkthrough is telling you to just keep on moving with that page of wands. Go out as naively as possible. Go out looking like an idiot. Go out looking like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, all surprises and shit, right? Just packing very lightly. Right? Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's a tower. Oh, there we go. There we go. You're walking and that is like a tower right there. The walk will bring the tower or you're walking towards the tower. You're making that shit explode. Ooh, quite a few popped up again. Um, nothing will get started with this because nothing was manifested correctly. Uh, there is an ace of pentacles here with wealth and a rising, but there's no touch of heaven because there isn't any love here. No expression really at all, players. So, like, all that shit stemmed up to the tower, I feel like. When it comes to the fruition and realization, that's what the tower is going to be bringing, the Three of Cups. You are, I think, I feel like, player, with your walkthrough with you getting an idea of what to do it's to go out like a novice that's going to knock the tower into play and then this three of cups comes into uh, fruition whether it's uh, joining with others somewhere else maybe pregnancy I don't know but something here is kind of like hmm let's see hidden levels bonuses or influences the star reverse not communicating not talking none of that shit right uh you're not talking about like feeling like you're you're not like you're not wonderlust anymore you're just like hey, yeah i've already done this shit before i've already done this shit before um you're not communicating with somebody you're not yeah you, it was like I said earlier, players, or somebody here. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, I gotta uh, do something with the video, because, like, YouTube has just lost the shit. I don't know what's up with it. So this might end up getting, being another cutoff video, everybody. If it is, I'll separate it and do it another way. Let's see. Final boss and their weakness. No, 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 no. This is the hidden treasures and enemies, right? But this Queen of Cups right here is, um... She... It, it, you're not curious about her. You know exactly how she works. Never hear of this Ten of Wands where it's like the... F hidden treasures and enemies? The past, when it comes to dealing with the burden that was going on before. And how everything was just funky. Like, this bird seen some shit. He's like all paranoid and everything. I could have swore I dropped the card, but I guess I didn't. Or I imagined it. Or something. One of the two. Actually, let me hit you back up, William. So, like, you know. I don't feel like a douchebag. When I'm done with this one reading, I do send. Oh, I, I, I should have checked this one. Okay. Anyway, back to y'all. My apologies, players. So, anyway, you know who this person is. 
for the most part. You're not confused about them, and I feel like that's why you're not communicating with them. Now, with his hidden treasures and enemies, it's like a... It's more like it's an enemy, which is this burden you've been carrying around so long, because it's just, like, shook you up, and it's kind of left you feeling like you're not entirely whole, you know? That might be a problem for you here shortly there, players. Three of Swords. Final boss and their weakness, right? Someone trying to recover their broken heart. Someone might try to emulate this. I feel like someone might be trying to play this part. Empress Trevor, someone who is not very... I don't know, I wouldn't trust that. They act a little bitter for my taste, like... Just lounging around, not bothering, trying to eat anything, but it's almost, but like I said, it's almost a desperation act. Um, it's powerful, dynamic kind of mindset, too. It's like this person tries to come out and feel as though they are incomplete with this heartbreak that they're dealing with. However, they are invested in different creative ways. It could also be you, player, so keep this in mind. But for this episode, it seems like someone really needs to uh, work on their heart or whatever, right? Now the spoils. Item drops. Rewards. Queen of Wands, right? I feel like it's a berserker bonus. Like you can lose your shit and lose your patience with somebody a little bit. Death reverse, some people, it's still, something isn't changing right here, right? Page of Cup, mystical. It's definitely somebody who is um, handling a water sign NPC right here. Uh, being on other earthly, being all mystical, being all like, you know, emotional and shit, I guess. I don't know, they're just moody as fuck. And it's like you've already figured out how they actually operate. So let's see what advice we can get for each card. Is the energy guiding you? What is the advice you can use best for it? Um, some things I feel like you cannot manifest correctly. And those things that you cannot manifest, you should just cut off, leave behind. What about the influence of this energy? Um... Things that are not changing or will not change, don't worry about, like, keep, don't dream about them no more. Because um, that might be just what brings the tower. So you might have to, like, leave something behind in order to advance to the next level, players. <clears throat> oh, okay, so now you don't want me to say some shit. Okay. Sorry, that's been happening a lot, and I don't know why. And whoever's doing it, you can stop now. You're already interfering with my videos getting uploaded, and it's quite annoying, so could you please get the fuck out of my house before I have you escorted out of my house? Thank you very kindly. Let's see. The NPCs and what they see. What advice can they get from that? They'll probably come up once again with feelings. I think they did that the last time they were trying to come up with, like, some emotional bullshit. Only because, like, they're not getting their way. Right? Advice for their triggers. They might try to uproot you, player, or they might try to play this game where they feel like they the foundation's been uprooted from underneath of them, like the rug's been pulled up underneath them, they've been stable and solid. That's a gaslighting move! Don't believe that bullshit. Don't do it. It, it. It's a trap. It's a trap. They'll be like, oh, I can't believe you're, um this way or you're not making this choice or whatever. Don't go fall for that at all. Uh, cheat codes and walkthroughs. What's the advice with that? There might be a lot of, uh, quite a bit of chaos, quite a bit of arguing, quite a bit of uh, ego fronting. Right? Ooh, quite a few just popped up here. 
that's like not the right thing about it. Like they're bringing up shit from their past that has nothing to do with it. You're trying to start with a clean slate. And they keep trying to get you to be a turtle so they can dance. <clears throat> <clears throat> Didn't I tell you to get out? Guides, do you mind getting them out? Like, they're ruining my groove right now. Yeah, they might try to fight with conflict to um, get you to resurrect everything with the judgment call right here. No, is that what you didn't want me to say? Okay, this shit's annoying. Like, it's really fucking pissing me off. Like, this thing has been bothering me all day, and it needs to get out of my house. And it, and it better be out of my house, like, right now. Anyway, sorry about that. Hidden levels, bonuses, or influences. What advice do we get from that? Once again, don't speak up about shit because they're just going to bring up shit from the past to you to, like, encourage you to make any choices they feel should be made. In an effort to uproot you, see? And this here, these are the counterparts. They're trying... Yeah, no, no, don't, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Hidden treasures and enemies. What advice can we get here? Yeah, offers up of love. After, like, you're the cup I've always wanted. That shit is not as well knit as they're pretending it is. So keep that in mind. You'll spot it out very quickly. It's not going to be very hard for you to judge how it's going to come up either. Okay. Final boss and their weakness. What's the advice with this right here? This broken heart they're presenting to you? No choice. Like not taking the choice. That's what's going to get you out of your headspace. They, they want you to make a choice, period. That's why they're trying to get you all uh, willy-nilly with the Queen of Wands uh, spoils, item drops, and rewards right here. Right? They want that harmony, and they're impatient about it, too. Because they need another turtle to do their dancing. <laughs> okay, let's do the next episode. The Hermit Reverse, someone's coming out of that cave of isolation with some clarity about things, right? What's going to happen in the next episode? What spoils can we do for that one? Right? Stepping out of this shit and get into a better, more open space other than this cave. Okay. We have... Something isn't going to be manifested correctly because there's still some mystery behind options. So that's going to be the spoiler for the next episode, The Hermit Reverse. So, that's the video, everybody. I hope you players are doing a good job. Remember to stay safe and stay suspicious as we do. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.